So when someone completes this form, you can see that we continue to add emails and text messages and emails and text messages. You can see how much opportunity you have sitting at each stage of your pipeline. Hi there and welcome to the channel. My name is Janae Jackson and I am a digital marketer and blogger. Here on this channel, we're dedicated to all things business marketing and automation for small business owners and online entrepreneurs. If that sounds like your cup of tea, or your cup of coffee, consider subscribing. In this video, we're gonna be setting up a workflow. A workflow is essentially a sequence of tasks and processes that you can use to help run your business more efficiently. The software that I use and recommend to set up every single business automation that you can imagine from email marketing, text message marketing, landing pages, funnel pages, pop-ups. They even have a chat widget that you can install on your website is Go High Level, which I'll link in the description down below. Now, Go High Level is essentially designed for marketers and marketing agencies if you are a small business owner or an online entrepreneur. For example, a coach, a consultant, a freelancer, um, such as a photographer. I recommend checking out Authority HQ, which is a version of High Level that's specifically designed for small business owners and online entrepreneurs. I'll leave my referral link for both programs down in the description below, where you can try either or both of them 14 days absolutely free. All right, so here we are in the back end dashboard of a boudoir photographer, where you can see, I went over in another video, which I will link below, um, more in depth on the dashboard and some of the other features that Go High Level and Authority HQ offer. Um, but in this particular video, we're gonna be going through the workflow builder. So here we are in the workflow builder and you can see we have quite a few workflows set up for her, but we're gonna go into one of her main workflows, which is when someone submits an inquiry form on her website. So here you can see what the workflow builder looks like inside of the software. You can select actions that are then going to trigger a sequence of events that you want to happen. And I just wanna give you a brief run through of the triggers and the automations that we have set up in this particular workflow. So this is the workflow of a boudoir photographer. And here you can see we have a Go High Level or Authority HQ form actually installed on her website. So when someone completes this form with all the information that she needs, they're gonna go ahead and hit get in touch. And it's gonna take them to a thank you page that we've set up. And then they're gonna come right over into here and let's see what's gonna happen. So we can, we have the trigger set up here, form submitted. If I click on that, you can see exactly what is going on here. You can either have a CRM form, which is a form that you would install on your website. If you have your own form builder, you can absolutely integrate either Go High Level or Authority HQ with your own particular form builder and have it funnel in. You may have to do this through a third party app like Zapier. Um, but it is something that you can do. You can also have Facebook lead forms automatically populate. So here you can see all of the different things that can actually be the trigger. Let's go through some of them. So runs on all appointment status updates. So for example, someone requests a consultation or a consultation is confirmed that would be an appointment status. When a particular tag has been added, you can have that trigger the automations in your workflow. If someone replies to an email, a form submitted, which is what we're doing now, if they are at a certain stage in your pipeline, which I'll go over in another video, if the opportunity becomes stale, so for example, after 14 days in your pipeline, perhaps you would consider that person stale you can really use any action that you or a potential lead would take as a trigger here in go high level and then i have the form is and i have of all of the forms that we have set up on her account we make sure that it's the form on her actual website homepage, which is the inquiry contact form okay when that happens, we want to make we after we set it up, you want to go ahead and make sure you hit save. 
what do I then want to happen? When someone submits the form, we want a notification. So this is gonna be an internal notification to everyone on the team that I designate. So I want the email to go to the head photographer who's gonna be the one to call them and follow up immediately. And then I have all of the information that I want to receive in that initial email. So I want the contact's name, their email address, their phone number, and the desired date of their, their um, photo shoot. This is gonna come in via email. You can also set this up to come in via text message on your phone. So if you want to, every time someone sends a, submits an inquiry form on your website, you can receive an email, you can receive a text message, you can really choose how you want to receive that notification. We have it set up here for an email with all the information that we need, and we're going to go ahead and save that action. All right, next we want to create an opportunity. Now, let me go over to her pipeline and I can show you exactly what an opportunity is. All right, here from the home page, we can see her opportunities here. And essentially, opportunities is another name for a pipeline. It's a visual kind of pipeline that you can move someone along their individual cards to any point in the pipeline or in the funnel that they belong. You can also set for these individual cards to be moved automatically to the appropriate stage based on the actions that they take that they take for example when someone submits a form on the website they're going to be created a new lead right here in the new leads column that's going to automatically populate with all of the information that we've set up okay when someone responds to any text message or email that we send out in response to their inquiry form submission, they're automatically going to be moved to the hot leads column. That way we know when we come into opportunities and we glance at this pipeline, we know that this person, for example, is someone who's actively engaging in the emails or in the text messages. So we know that this is a hot lead. All right, so let's go back to the workflows. All right, so after we receive that initial notification, hey, you have a new form submission, we're gonna have an opportunity automatically created. All right, and we can choose which pipeline, if you have multiple pipelines, you can choose which stage they're automatically gonna be created within. And what I like to do for my clients is add a lead value. You come over here in the pipeline, you can see it's automatically populated with that average cost. That way from both your pipeline, you can see, you know, how much money, of course, these are people, it's, they're not just dollar signs, but you can see how much opportunity you have sitting at each stage of your pipeline. You're also going to be able to see that very easily from your dashboard when you give each individual lead a value. So we're gonna go ahead and save that action. The next thing that we want to happen is we wanna send the customer or the lead an email. So we have an email from the photographer and we there's two ways of doing this, okay? You can select an email template, which I'll also jump over and show you really quickly, or you can just type the email that you want to send right in here. And I'll tell you the difference and why I like to do each one. So when you type an email directly in here, that's going to go out to the customer or the lead, the potential customer, this email is going to look exactly like you sent this email personally from your Gmail account. It's not going to have an unsubscribe link down at the bottom. It's not going to look like, you know, some fancy um, marketing email. It's going to look like you took the time to actually either copy and paste or write this email directly to whoever you're sending it to. 
That's really, really very powerful. I have never used any other email marketing software that I was able to send regular looking emails without that unsubscribe link, without any of that to just look like a simple real email, but still be automated. Or you could send an email template. Now the email template is going to look like a marketing email and I'll show you what that looks like. I think both a real email and a marketing email both have their place depending on where someone is in the funnel and depending on exactly what it is that you're trying to do. So let's go to this email, for example, this email template. And you can see here that we created this email with a drag and drop builder. So we just, we can drag and drop pictures. And this, as you can see, obviously looks like a marketing email something that you would create in an active campaign or in MailChimp. And it's also gonna have the option for them to unsubscribe or opt out of your email list down at the bottom. So let's go ahead and head back to the workflow here. All right, so at this particular point, um, we want to send a regular email, so we have it typed up right there. And of course, it's gonna automatically populate the name in both the, the body of the email and in the subject line. That's gonna get them to click through at a higher rate and open your email. Next, we have an action to wait two minutes, okay? You can set this for two hours, you can send it for set it for two days, you can customize, again, the days or the time window that you want this particular wait to be. Um, or you can do it for the overall campaign here in the settings, which we've already done. But it's really, really cool that you have the option to customize it even further if you want to. After that two minute wait, we're gonna send them a text message because text message marketing is included with both Go High Level and Authority HQ, which is like freaking amazing. So you don't just have one way of contacting the client. You can even automate calls with this system. You don't have to worry about pasting different programs. You have your email marketing over here. You have your SMS marketing over here. You have your calendar over there. You, everything is in one place. So from right here, you can go ahead and set a text message to be sent out to the number that they submitted in the form. What's powerful about having SMS marketing in your business workflow is that it's just another point of contact that you can reach out to that customer. This way, however your customer is engaging with communication, you're gonna be able to reach them via email, you're gonna be able to reach them via SMS message, you can automate calls in this software, you can add a chat bot to your website, it's so powerful and it's really limitless, the, the options that you have using either Go High Level or Authority HQ. After the text message goes out, the next thing that's gonna happen is they're gonna have a tag added because I like to have tags to know at a glance, for example, in my opportunities, exactly where someone is in the funnel. So if I click here, you can see that enter welcome nurture because that's the next step that I want this particular lead to go to. And I'll show you that in just a second. Um, the last thing that I have here is kind of a weight bucket. Now this is something that I personally like to do just because I like to be able to come into the workflows and once someone finishes this workflow, you can click here and see exactly who are the people that recently completed this workflow at a glance. Once they've been tagged with the welcome nurture, I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen thereafter. If I come over here, I have it already pulled up. So the trigger is actually when that tag is added. Remember I showed you over here, when you're choosing what the trigger is, you can choose, for example, a tag contact tag is added. That's what's gonna trigger this particular workflow. 
Now you can have one workflow for everything that you need, but I personally, the, the way my mind kind of works, I like to have different workflows depending on where exactly they are in the sales process. Once the welcome nurture tag is added to a contact, you can see here, you can see here that the next action is gonna be wait two minutes, Thereafter, they're gonna be sent an email template. Remember I talked about the email templates being the more stylized version of, of an email. And I have a particular email that I've selected there. After that, I want the system to wait one day. After that, they're gonna get a normal email. Remember I told you about that, where it's gonna look like it's coming directly from the photographer. It's not gonna have an unsubscribe link. It's not gonna look all fancy or systemized. So it's gonna look like an actual email coming from the photographer. On the same day, I'm gonna also send out a text message asking this person to join the Facebook group because this particular client has a private Facebook group that she likes to have her leads join because that's yet another point of contact that she can use to remain in contact with her clients. If I really wanted to, I have the email going out here, and then I have the text message going out at the same time. If I really wanted to, I can go ahead and click add, and let's add a wait condition. Let's wait one hour. And then I'm gonna make sure I select one hour. That way the email and the text message don't go out at the same time. We're gonna go ahead and save. And then you can see that we continue to add emails and text messages and emails and text messages in combination, both the regular emails and the email templates, however you see fit. It's really freaking Awesome, guys. When you're finished setting everything up, you always wanna make sure that you go ahead and hit save. You wanna make sure that your workflow is published and everything is gonna go ahead and trigger. Keep in contact with your leads, follow up and stay on top of things all automatically, all on autopilot. It's amazing. If you found this video helpful and you wanna try something like this for yourself, go ahead and check all of the information that I have down in the description below. If you have any questions, please go ahead and comment down below, like this video, share with another business owner, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.